Hello there, this is Redmi Note 10 Pro and in today's video I'm going to share you some best tips in order to get some really good looking images out of your Redmi Note 10 camera. But before that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Also make sure you share it with your friends so that they learn some photography skills as well. So without wasting any more time, let's look at the settings then. So how you can take the angle to get best picture. So normally what we will do is to hold the camera like this and we are seeing the aquarium here and we think that the picture is nice and we click the picture like this, right? So this is not what you want to do. So the first thing is to click on the three stripes here turn on the pro color so this one enhances individual colors and it gives you a little bit extra punch with the images and the main thing is here to hold the angle properly and then i'll click a picture so this angle is what we need not this one so there is a lot of unnecessary subject unnecessary elements over here so make sure you avoid these things and if any person is there make sure he stands far over there so then you click a picture. This is how you capture landscape. Now here's the subject, the aquarium. And what we are going to do is to capture this with a unique perspective. So I'm holding a camera here. So this is normally how you see when you open the camera. So with 1x zoom here. So this is the default view that you're seeing. So what you want to do is to change it to 0.6x, make utilize of the wide angle. And as you see, this subject is irrelevant for us. So make sure we are avoiding this one and I'll slightly tilt the camera and I'm getting as much as view and there's also this pathway here the track here which is going round the aquarium so I'm making sure that it is covered fully to the frame and then hold the angle properly and then let's take a picture and see this is how beautiful the image gets but normally if you click the photo so with 1x zoom this is how you are going to get. So there is a difference, right? How you are going to create that extra punch with the image so that it attracts the viewer's eye. So that should be your intention. So whatever you are trying to capture, so make sure you are framing it properly. We click a picture of the same subject. We have a different perspective altogether. So this makes it look unique and amazing with whatever images you are trying to take. So here we have bunch of leaves as you can see. So what setting you want to apply is, so right now we are in 1x, right? So with 1x what I can capture, so let's say, let's pick up this particular leaves here, right? So these are very tiny, tiny leaves. And as you can see with the 1x zoom, of course we can bring some really nice bokeh kind of uh, macro here with the 2x zoom. So this is what I have uh, told in most of my mobile tips related videos. So how you can utilize this 1x or 2x zoom to get some really close-up subjects without having macro right so but we have the macro here so tap on three stripes select super macro then let's look at the bokeh here so just observe how cool the bokeh is looking right so once we have a proper angle then i'll go ahead and take a picture so this is how beautifully you can take a picture just observe the background here so with the circle kind of effect the blur itself is really beautiful and the picture is stack sharp so there is another leaf here if i target as you can see how beautiful this is looking with background blur so i'll just go ahead and take a picture of this one and make it look amazing so you can use this as a wallpaper as well right so this is how beautifully tack sharp image you can capture using proper setting at right time so as you can see a beautiful scenery here there is plenty of shadows on either side so i'm standing right here and there is plenty of shadows on both the side and as i came here i saw this beautiful view so you can rather tilt the camera this way and make sure you're getting everything in the frame there is plenty of shadow details here and the highlights and the main subject is here so i'm making sure that this one is in the middle of the frame and what i do is to click a picture so make sure you are using the proper angle here you are not holding it this way you should not hold this way so this makes the picture look ugly and with this angle you can just change it to 0.6x and also use the pro color tilt the camera always while using wide angle don't use it this way as you can see unnecessary element is in the foreground here so we are avoiding this one and make sure you hold it properly so that your view should be to the main subject so this is how we capture stunning looking image so here we have these tiny flower very very tiny as you can see 
With the 1x zoom, you're getting some beautiful bokeh, right? The natural bokeh here. So if we just hold the flower like this, I'll show you with 1x zoom. So this is how you get. With the 2x, even though I'm holding it very steadily, so this is really nice bokeh you're getting. But with the super macro, so you can utilize it to the fullest, you're getting really deep close image. And look at that circle background bokeh. Make sure the flower is on the corner side of the frame. So that is how you capture professional looking images. Make sure that you have enabled pro color for that extra color enhancement and it looks absolutely epic. You can right away use this as a wallpaper. I'll show you. Make sure you capture it with full resolution. And when you're doing that, you have the super macro here. Let's find the flower. And I'm going as much close up as I need. After that, you can zoom to 2x also to get that extra sharpness or extra detail from the flower. And then here we have the wallpaper. So you don't have to find the wallpaper anywhere else. So right away, you can capture these kind of beautiful looking images with just this background, right? So I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you. For more of this, don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. Also hit that like button if you like these kind of videos. Guys, I will see you all in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.